Hi, so this is video two for Tears in Heaven, Boyce Avenue cover. Um, so this is when he starts singing and the first two lines of the verse, uh, you've got this. Okay, um, so that goes under. Would you know me if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? Okay, so this is very similar to what went on in the in the introduction. So we've got the hammer on, the open low E string, hammer on to the second fret, and then open A string. And then we've got an A chord, and uh, picking G string, and then hammering on the B string, so from the second fret to third fret and back, hammer on and pull off. Just as we were doing in the introduction. So it's with thumb and first two fingers. Thumb doing the root notes of the chord or the bass notes of the chord, and two fingers mainly on the, well, pretty much always, I think, on the G and B strings. Um, so we've got the. Then that chord again, which is a type of E. Although I remember we tuned down to E flat. So that's 4th fret low E string, 4th fret G string, 5th fret uh, B string, and I'm going to pluck them all at the same time, every of the 3 strings that I'm fretting, and then just the fingers. And then you go down to there, which is uh, F sharp minor chord, everything's on the 2nd fret, same strings, so everything can be an anchor finger. So it's now everything's on the second fret. Second fret E string, second fret G string, second fret B string. And when you get there, again you pluck all of them. So. I think in the first video I said after you plucked all of them you can pluck fingers and then thumb, um, but I think he actually does it the other way around, so pluck all of them and then pluck thumb. It doesn't matter too much, but uh, if, you do do it, if you do do it that way then, then you've got these treble notes, uh, the chord notes being on the beat because it's like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and so after that there was a weight and then that pluck of the bass string came on an and So, we got to here, the second fret, F sharp minor, plucked all of them, little pause, thumb on the bass, and then fingers on the treble strings. Then you go to that chord, which is to just take off the second finger from the E string, so you got open E string, two fingers, third and fourth finger, in my case, still on the second fret. G and B strings, so yeah. And if you are plucking 
buckle of them, then thumb and fingers. When you get to this new chord, I mean the uh, yeah, those two fingers still there, and this low E string being open. The first thing you kind of pluck on it is the is the treble strings. It's not really something you have to think about as long as you. using thumb fingers ultimately. So one and two and three and four and one and two and so we got that far and then it goes back to that uh, D over F sharp. So that is you see how I'm using my third and fourth fingers as anchor fingers all the time because I've got from here to here here so the third finger stayed on the second fret, little finger slid up to the third fret, the G and B strings respectively, and second finger came back to the second fret, the low E string. And then you go up. So pluck all of them. Go through that bit, the chords. We got to this, the D over F sharp. So I'm going to pluck all of them, then pluck the treble strings. Then I'm going to go down to. I'm going to move the little finger down to second fret. So both third and fourth finger on second fret of the G and B strings. And I've taken the second finger off the low E string, so I've got an open E string. So I've gone from this to this. Okay. And that's how long I spend on it. If I saw you in heaven. Now that is an E chord, except I'm just not fretting the whole thing. I'm just doing first finger on the first fret of the G string, and then there's an open B string. And then thumb plucking open low E string. Then you got that run. Now, that's just your normal open E chord. Then you got this. You can choose to fret this in a number of ways. That is, you're back to an A chord. Second fret on G string, second fret on B string. You can either bar them with your first finger or slide the first finger up from the E shape, first fret of the G string to the second fret, and then the second finger coming the second fret of the B string. If you do it that way, then you can slide the second finger up to the third fret for the next position, and the third fret of the B string, and the third finger goes on the fourth fret of the G string. Or if you do it as a bar, just going to put your second finger down on the third fret B string and your third finger down on the fourth fret G string. Or okay, so you got. So 
basically you've got uh, two lines, uh, would you know my name, would you know my name if I saw you in heaven, and then would it be the same if I saw you in heaven, and it's the same chord progression underneath, so the chord progression we just went through, that happens twice. Taking you up to the bit where he's going to go. I must be strong. I must be strong. So we'll do that bit in the next video. Just a note here about what I was saying about which way to alternate. Is it fingers, thumb, or thumb, fingers? It can always be thumb, fingers. I just realised. So uh, there. sharp, black all of them, and then thumb, fingers, yeah, and then you go to that next, that A over E, A, E, and then E, it's just you're going to get to each chord, yeah, with the treble notes first. Thank you.